Been, my family's been in the valley since the 1700s. Okay. So we've been here a long time. Corn, soybeans, alfalfa, canola. Okay. And with any luck, hemp. <laughs> with any luck. This is an oil seed crushing press back here in the back. Crushed soybeans, canola, a few sunflowers, and uh, plan to crush hemp here and make biofuel out of the hemp. That's after the oil is crushed, we process it into biodiesel and we use it on our own. When you, when you make biodiesel, it is interchangeable with diesel fuel in most vehicles. These are the soybeans that are being crushed. Okay. And it extracts the oil. We drain the oil into these little tanks here. And the press cake goes into this bin. We then feed the press cake to our dairy cows. Now I want you to get us the smell of the smoke. It does smell like fire. It smells like it just yeah. lit the grill on fire. Like just worked up the grill, right? Yeah. Cleanliness and like how, how clean does it burn compared to traditional oil, I mean, do you have to service your engine more? What's the maintenance uh, difference in maintenance? It would burn somewhat cleaner. I don't know the numbers, okay. but it is a clean fuel. That is what's called crude vegetable oil. It's not been degummed, de deodorized, or bleached. Okay. Um, I'll tell you a story. In 1764, in uh, Page County, which is just north of us, along the Shenandoah River, there was an Indian massacre. A band of 10 Indians came in and there was a Rhodes family living there, John Rhodes family. Our last name is Rhodes also, but we can't quite make the connection. We used to claim them, but we can't prove it. But anyway, the Indians came in and killed a lot of the family, but a 12 year old girl picked up an 18 month old baby and escaped through the hemp field to a neighboring house and survived the attack. So I like to tell people hemp saves lives. Wow. So hemp traditionally has been grown here. I have a friend who has a hemp roller millstone in his front yard, and maybe tomorrow, if I get a chance, I'll take it's just north of Harrisonburg, about five miles. Okay. So if you'd like to see that, it's a remnant yeah. of a hemp industry that was once here. Absolutely. Yeah, there, there are more and more small operations springing up that specialize in high value products. I'm hoping that. Hemp might be one of those products where if you had a 100 acre farm, you maybe can make it an actual living producing hemp products off of your farm. That's not awesome. yeah. We just need to get Mr. Goodlatte to uh, sponsor, co-sponsor the Industrial Hemp Farming Act and uh, we'll see how it goes. So you can make